Just a quick note on the uh, market today. Uh, I will show you that we've had some very kind of strange reactions to what's going on in Washington. We had a big run up the other day, then we had a huge drop overnight. Ended up uh, opening a little lower, and it was a little squirrely here with an ever expanding triangle, which told you that maybe the market was going to go up. Now, as most of you know, I don't trade really after about 10.30, and if we look at what's happening at 10.45, we did get a continuation low signal here, and then a follow-up here, and we had the biggest drop I've seen over, and, and bounce, actually, over the noon hour. So it came down to 11 to 12.34, and now it's uh, headed down again south. So... It's a little hard to figure out what's going on these days with the market. It is really schizophrenic. Uh, not a lot that I can tell you if you look at the bigger picture. And I just do that by rolling my uh, cursor back and forth on the longer time frame. You can see it more or less looks like it's topping out. But if you look at the daily chart, sorry, I'll move that over here. You know, we've had this other funky run up from before bounce around again and now we're starting to, to peak off again so it's a little hard to predict what the market's going to do I mean basically all you can do is play what you see so you know this is about the time cycle that I look at and all I'm looking for are here was a nice divergence didn't happen right away went back up second divergence was even better uh, for a play because it looked like a continuation divergence here on the short-term indicator and we had the divergence on the long-term indicator so all you can do is play these moves as you see them and right now uh, if we watch the market here real quickly we've got all signals down but we do have it testing a previous low which was that low at noon so we're really at a, at a, a decision point and the market's bouncing back and forth to this first support level here. Um, if it fails here, I would take a short and uh, let it run for a while. Uh, the market is overbought in a lot of ways. It's been going up for the last year. Uh, and people are still predicting the recovery. But if you looked at Bloomberg today, you would find uh, that most of the reports were negative. H housing was down. Some production was up, but that's literally because production's been way way down and they're replenishing inventories so it's a little hard to predict uh, what's going on now if we follow our regular signals the, the price generally will go up and bounce off of one of these moving averages and we'll see if we have a divergence we have a slight well an equal low here with a lower low on the on the uh, price so that's another indicator that you've got conflicting signals. You do have the change in the short-term indicator about to cross this long-term indicator. Um, so when I'm watching this, I say, what's my risk reward? My risk is to 1161. My reward is to 1163 and maybe a half. All right. Uh, that's a one-to-one -one, uh, risk reward level. And this is an area, especially when it's around uh, the support level, you see it, it uh, hit that before, bounced below and bounced up, is not something I want to take. Now, if the next bar starts below the support level, you know, I would be inclined to take a short because these two indicators are below the midpoint, the moving averages are down, and it couldn't bust back up to that moving average, which is usually a good resistance level. So I'm going to slow the video down and uh, see what happens five minutes from now. Real quickly, you can see we've got a turnaround there. I want to move the shorter time frame in here just to give you an idea of how it did bounce off of the moving average. We had the big drop here and the change in the color, so that's an indication we might be headed down still. Well, you can see how this trade is developing. It's actually going nowhere, and it's very indecisive. So when you have this even win to loss potential, you really don't want to take any trades at all. I'm going to stop the tape and wait a few more minutes here. Now we finally had a breakout up here to the uh, midpoint of the first support and we tested the low overnight so basic or I mean during a day so I'd expect to go back up to the pivot point. Hope this helps.